today, chat, we are going to be doing a tier list of Genshin characters in high school cliques or what they would be like in high school. So we saw something like this and wanted to do our own version of it because it sounds like it's going to be absolutely fucking hilarious. So we have class clowns, theater kids, athletic kids, band nerds, okay. book club kids, smart kids, and class skippers. I thought you said book club <laughs> Book club? That? What the? Book club, guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's your accent, okay? Of course it is. Of course it is. All right. So we're doing what? All the four stars and five stars, right? Including, it looks like, Linny, Lynette, and... That character. <laughs> Let's start this then. I'm going to move these so we can do these together. So Ether and Lumi. Let's do Ether first. Do you use Ether as MC or do you use Lumi? Uh, yes. Okay. So I we'll, use Ether. We'll do oh. Ether in MC and Lumi oh. as the Abyss twin. I feel like Travelers are kind of difficult to, to place, actually. I mean, do we have Quiet Kids? Because honestly, <laughs> we're just going to Quiet Kid. We don't have Maybe. Quiet Kids. We should add Maybe Quiet Kids. kids. Should we add Quiet Kids? I think so. I think he would go into yeah. Quiet Kids. I agree. Quiet kids for ether. Lumine? Lumine, I feel like it'd be a small Bully. kid. Bully? <laughs> you think? I mean, maybe, but... We're no. the ones going around killing hillichels on the daily, dude. I mean, that is true. That's a good point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a good one. I think she'd be a class skipper because she appears and then disappears for like five years. Yes, you're right. Class skipper is actually perfect. Honestly, I, I didn't think about that. That's actually actually really good. Albedo. I mean, Obviously, an art theater kid or book club. Oh, I'd say smart. I mean, yeah. I mean, because he like paints and draws and he's very like artistic, right? So that's why I thought like maybe somewhere there, but smart as well. Yeah, that works. I agree. I just think with the whole Kimia stuff and bringing things to life and knowing all the stuff that he he's sus, dude. I don't know. I don't know about Albedo. That's true. Kind of a mixture between theater and smart, I'd say, but theater. He, he's a smart artistic person, but yes. out of all what we have, I think smart is probably better for him yeah okay sweet now we have amber oh. and the baron bunny i think i know where i'd put her off the bat but band nerd she just gives me that vibe that she played clarinet <laughs> and she was a band geek i can see with a triangle <laughs> yeah. uh yeah in the back my chat is saying athletic i think most people are thinking athletic mainly just because of the first cutscene, which like jumps over your head <laughs> Athletic does make sense because she's very outgoing and very active. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm kind of torn between the two. Yeah, oh, true. She's a gliding champion. That is very true. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, athletic it is then. And then outright. I, I didn't even think about that, dude. <laughs> Chat, you guys, yeah, she's a glider champion. You guys are right. <laughs> guys, come on, dude. She's a gliding champion. Why didn't you say that? Obviously, she's yeah, an athletic. Obviously, I always thought she was athletic. <laughs> Bro, honestly. what are you doing? Do you not know anything about Amber? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Thank you to Tokyo Tree and Sakura Co. for sponsoring this video. I got sent a couple of really pretty boxes that you can see here, and we are going to be opening them and having a look through to see what we get. I've never seen some of these snacks before. I'm kind of excited. So, we got some Kit Kat Salt Lemon. These are like little cheesy corn snacks. <laughs> Sakura Senbeis? I have no idea what this is, but they look good. There's a zero sugar question mark Fanta. It's like gacha in a bottle. God, we have so many other snacks in here. I'm just going to show you this and we're going to try a couple. And then there's more because we have the Sakura Co box, which has even more snacks inside. <laughs> oh, we got a little fan too. And I think this is tea. We'll definitely give this a shot. There's some of the cute photos and little explanations of each thing in here. I kind of want to go in blind though. Just so you know, Tokyo Tree is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. And you'll get up to 20 of the latest exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time like Sakura Pepsi, Japanese Sake Kit Kats, Ramen, and a lot more. And Sakura Ko is another monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box. Sakura Miracle supporting local Japanese snap makers and each box comes with 20 traditional and authentic and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. I want to just invite people to experience Japan from the comfort of their own home, which is what I'm going to be doing today. Looks like this month's theme is a fireworks flavor fest as well. This will be my first time trying Japanese tea too, so I'm kind of excited about this. Oh. Oh, that's really good. It's not soup. It's not like it doesn't kick you with a lot of flavor like I kind of expected, but it's a really nice taste. Just really refreshing. If you want to order your own snack boxes like these, uh, try out some 
traditional Japanese snacks. I highly recommend it. If you're supporting me at the same time, feel free to use the link down in the description and the pinned comment. And let me know what you get because I'm going to enjoy these. Should we add popular, like the popular, like preppy kids? Because like, you know, like mean girls, like, you know, like those types of like people in high school. We don't, but I, I thought I added that already, but I must have not done so. I, That's what say... I think Ayaka Wait, does. What, in popular kids? Yeah. Everybody's saying for Ayaka Butt Club. Bro, I think theater kid. She's all about that dancing and sword work. Yeah, but I see. I think she comes from a very rich family, obviously, right? Like wealth. And so then like she's like known in high school as like the popular rich girl, right? Who like dresses well and all of that. Yeah, she's into the arts and stuff. But like, I don't know. I would just kind of put her in popular. Hmm. She has no friends. Uh, I mean, I guess. But like, yeah, my, my she... angle is like people look at her and think that in high school, you know, but maybe she's like the quiet, you know, like I'm not really popular, but everyone thinks I'm popular. That's that's my angle with it. I think theater first and foremost because of the dancing and showing off and the and the sword work and stuff. But that's just me. We can she's we in can... a ballet club. Oh, so yeah, she's a dancer. Oh, man. I mean, so that's where Nilu would go. Nilu, but when we get there, we get there. But Ayaka's a tough one. Ayaka is tough because I feel like she fits into multiple categories. So which one does she fit into the most? Fuck out it. Of it all. She's a bully. <laughs> She's a bully. She's a bully. Honestly, I could see it. I could see it being a bully, honestly. Being... Yeah, one of those quiet bullies. Like, low-key, like, she's mean. I can yeah. totally see that. Like, she just trips people off on the way out of class and doesn't say anything. And, like, you trip over, like, her wet sock. And you're like, why am I wet all of a sudden, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. And then if anybody ever calls her out, she's just like, Ayato, help me. <laughs> and he just comes in all jock-like. Are we going based off of what other people perceive these characters as or what they would actually be, though? That's true. We have to What are we going to yeah. do here? Because I agree with you fully from an outside in perspective but for ayaka herself like she ain't a popular mm -hmm. kid you're right so we could be we should probably do it off based off of actually like who they are like how we know them i think she would then go into like maybe like book club or theater more kid book club we'll put her in book club for now we could always move her around later barbara this has to be band yeah. nerds no i mean yeah i guess she probably does choir honestly oh 100 well she's an idol band nerd for sure then yeah bible study <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bible study kid. I think this one's going to be a tough yeah. one, though. Beto. Mm -hmm. She's a jock, dude. I think so she's I like also a very pop. Ooh, you think athletic? Well, because I look at her as like a jock. So jocks are obviously like football players, like basketball players. So like, that's what I think. But I mean, like, she's not like known for being athletic in a sense, but she gives off the vibe of True. a jock. See, I was, I was, I wasn't even thinking of athletic. I was torn between popular kids and bullies. I feel like she'd be a bully, dude. You think but, so? I think so, even if it was unintentionally, because I just don't think she'd put up with anyone's bullshit. Oh, but then she might be a slacker, though. True. Like a, like a class, like skipper, like. You know, I'm too Wait, cool for this. I think you're right. I could definitely see her as a class skipper. Yeah, I, I, I think class skipper works for Beto for sure. Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> I think class clown unintentionally. I think he's one of those people that don't even try to be funny, but everything just unlucky happens to him and everyone laughs at him. But then, okay, so then do you think it'd be class clown or do you think it would be unpopular kid? Like everyone, like he's like, he's the butt of everyone's jokes. He gets pushed around all the time. I don't see class clown as inherently popular though, do you? Is that a, is that a US UK differential there? In the US, when you're a class clown, you're the one initiating all the jokes and making everyone else laugh, not at you but like at your jokes right and so if you're thinking of like class clown as in like people are laughing at you that means you're just bullied <laughs> oh <laughs> okay. and no one likes you and then you're just a butt of everyone's joke I, th I feel like class clown he definitely fit and do more than the others but he's very popular as well bennett right like people do laugh at him but he does have a lot of friends what would you what would you put him in again the bullied kid like the unpopular kid because like so many bad things happen to him. I see him, when I think Bennett in high school, I think he like holds his books close to his chest and he's always getting like shoved around and like pushed in the lockers. Oh, I, and, just, like, I don't at of. all. See, I see really? Bennett as walking down with his handbag to his side, just chilling, vibing, and then slipping and breaking his ankle and not going to school for three weeks. <laughs> for some reason, I don't see Bennett as getting bullied, mm. but I just see people laughing at him, but he's okay with it. <laughs> As stupid as that sounds. 
I mean, I understand what you mean. I just don't think that. But we just have different perspectives on him. Uh, I mean, if you want, we can put him in class clown. I guess well, like can go both ways of like he makes jokes, but also people laugh at his demise in a sense. I kind of also just don't want to make another tier because I feel like we're going to make too many tiers. <laughs> That's true. Everyone on my chat is saying class clown. Yeah, same. We'll put him in class clown for now. Might make a new tier All at right. the end. We'll just make a Bennett tier. All right, Chong Yoon. Dude, I legit don't know. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I think he would go into like just this yeah quiet kid honestly he's just constantly yeah. googling about different popsicle flavors and what the best like tier list of popsicles and, yeah like, he's, he's the himself. scary kid that sits at the back of the class constantly with an ice pop in his mouth but then like he's the quiet kid right but no one understands him but then one day shenha his aunt picked him up from school and was like holy shit no hot. and then like, yeah. no shenha the substitute teacher holy it's a it's a whole character art coming in okay we don't need to talk about your fantasies here okay we're doing a tier list right now whoa, Calm yourself. whoa. Deluke? i think the look would go into popular kids because he's that like i don't give a fuck what anyone else he's like he's the bad boy i'm kind of mixed between popular kids and quiet kids because he just doesn't speak i think you're probably right i think he would be more so in the in the popular kids category everyone says that he's a rich boy because he's got a the mm. winery and all that my chat is saying bully i don't think deluke could be a bully i don't think he cares enough to bully diano oh gosh bro is it is it bad that i actually think diano would be a bully <laughs> She would. I think she'd be the the little short kid that runs around like kicking people's ankles and stuff, scratching yeah. them. Put put her in bully. Put her in bully. My all my chat is just saying bully, yeah, bully. Kissing at all the new kids, you know. There's new kids and she's. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just see it. Fischl. Theater kid, 110%. There's like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. <laughs> You're right. That's a given. Hey, this is a pretty balanced list so far. This is a cool little cast here. Yeah. Actually, this is actually surprising because when I <laughs> do tier lists, it's like mostly like into one yep. like category, but this was actually pretty balanced so far. Ganyu? Some people saying quiet kid. I think she'd be popular or quiet for sure, but... You know how I see Ganyu and or Kaching, like class president type person, but that's not really its own like... I'd say that category. falls under popular though. A class president, we don't have that over here. Is it popular? That's like the overachiever that like thinks they're the, the, oh, like so the best, smart. right? Yeah, they're very smart. They are like suck ups to teachers and stuff like that, but they're very hardworking, right? So maybe she could go into smart then. Yeah, popular, smart, or quiet. My chat is saying smart. My chat is torn yeah, between well, quiet and smart. So we'll go with we'll go with smart. Hu Tao? Class clown, easily, right? I was gonna say theater kid. What, for Hu Tao, really? Yeah, she gives off the very big theatrics. <laughs> People are saying and bully. And like, she's so over the top <laughs> bully. <laughs> No, I don't think she's a bully. I think she is definitely, she gives off, like, I mean, I was a theater kid for nine years, right? So, like, I, I've i met Hu Tao's before where they're very over-exaggerated <laughs> yeah. and, like, over the top, you know? That's how that's what she gives me. Put her in class, clown. Okay, we'll put her in there for now. All the pyros, dude. Uh-oh. All right, we have Jean next. Probably smart, right? I think popular. I think everybody would want to be around Jean. Jean gives principal vibes, but these are high school kids, like, like, clicks and that not like yeah. teachers and stuff i would add uh, another section for like teachers but i don't think it's worth it no i feel like that'd be a whole different type yep. of uh tier list like genshin characters as teachers like what do they teach i think she goes into smart kids i think small like, she's just like smart. very like yeah into like her studies and stuff like that always wanting to like be better and stuff like that she gives me makoto vibes from persona 5 if you've ever played that game i haven't yet i think she's definitely a smart popular guy. i think she's a mixture of the two but same yeah. as uh ganyu being a mixture of smart and quiet kaya theater interesting i would have said i would have said popular some people saying bully kaya would not be a bully chat it's the eye patch for me dude no he might be class skipper he might I think be. he'd be class skipper you're right because actually he's very mysterious and he always comes out of the woodwork out of nowhere yeah and, and then like, just Hi, disappears there. yeah no you're right yeah you're actually why are the eye patch people skipping class all the time <laughs> Why is They're this trying to thing? find another eye. Kaching? Oh, she goes into like smart kids, like works hard. Like she wants to get into that best college ever. Yeah. And wants to rule the world and overworks herself. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think she'd be smart. Think... She'd be smart or book club. And I think I'm Erin more towards smart. Klee? I think she, <sighs> this is going to sound so dumb. I think Klee would go into either class skipper or bully. Now, wow, really? I say bully unintentionally because she's like she's just very self-absorbed in the sense of like she does things without thinking is the vibe i get right and so then i feel like she would say things to people that are like too harsh or like she's just too honest or like she would destroy people's stuff on accident because she's just all about the destruction that's why i think bully but more class skipper because she just wants to go off and like be mischievous you know 
That makes sense. I personally would have put her in Popular Kids because her mother really? is... Well, her mom's Alice. <laughs> She's going to have, like, the, the brand new stuff all the time. Dilute's also a Popular Kid who will be looking after her as well. I think she'd be uh -huh. popular, personally. Or Theater Kid, but I think she would be popular. It's kind of a mix. If, if you don't see her in Popular at all, then we won't put her in Popular. I would place her here if it was just me, but... For both of us, we can we can meet halfway. I don't see her as a bully, so I'd say class giver. I was saying I kind of wanted to add a homeschooled tier, and I feel like she would definitely fit in that. <laughs> yes. But uh, I think it Close. might be too many tiers. But thoughts? I don't know. I, I, I want to add more tiers, but I feel like it's a slippery slope of like we add one, then we add another one, then another yeah. one, then another one. This is too much at that point. Lisa. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. This is cool. I don't, I don't. <laughs> In school, I feel like she'd just be smart, though. People say book club. Really? I could, yeah. I mean, she's a li like, well, librarian, so books. I understand the thought, but listen, Kai is a pirate and he's in class skip, but that has nothing to do with being a pirate. I mean, still, well, we could, we she could likes go with to both. read books. Yeah, she, she does like to read. I still think book club fits. Where do you think Mona would go then? As much as I hate to say it, I feel like Mona would be a popular kid, dude. Yeah, she's rich. Yeah. Even though she spends all of, like, she spends all the money, so she spends all of daddy's money. Yeah. Right? Uh, she's preppy, all of that. I think popular. I think she's literally the embodiment of Mean Girls. Yes, but she is smart. So she's she the is. Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that works. I feel like she'd be a uh, popular kid for sure. I also think popular makes the most sense for Ning Wong too. I could agree that Ning Wong would also go in a popular. I think out of most people on this list, Ning Wong would be the one that I would like guarantee just being a popular kid. Other than maybe one other that we'll get to later. Everyone's saying popular in my chat too. Yeah, I think she's she prom be. queen. I could see that, Ning. Yeah, Hundred percent, one million percent. Noel. I think quiet kid. I think she's shy. I agree. She is shy. Have you done a hangout? No, but I mean, I've I know enough of her that she's just. She just gives me shy vibes, yeah. too. She's very shy. Chi Chi. I, I mean, can see her. Okay, this is going to sound stupid. Quiet Kid, yes, but I think Band Nerd. I think she'd be playing like a triangle in a corner. Just like, uh, uh, ding, 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 ding. Just wanting to be around other people. I'm just, not slandering the triangle. Just, that is a very hard thing to play. Yeah, triangle's so hard. You've got like, you know, you three, three sides, three, sides to it. three corners, and one stick. Like, you got to decide which one you want to yeah. hit. They might all make the same exactly. sound, but they feel different. My chat is saying quiet. I think quiet's the the conservative one to go with because I think there's multiple yeah. other characters here that will definitely fit band nerds more than Chi Chi. Razor. Razor <laughs> if we had a homeschooled one, I yeah. would go in there. You would go in there, dude. Oh, Jefferson. He's been homeschooled and he it's his first day in public and he is terrified. He's barking at everyone. People are saying Dude. Skipper for me. Yeah, they are for me too. I feel like if not Skipper, the only other one would be athletic or theater and only because he got dragged to it to make sure he was safe. I don't but, know why. Uh, I just, I can see him playing lacrosse and I, that's why I want to put him in athletic. I can he see him doing is... like a hundred meter sprint on all fours. <laughs> put him in athletic. I think that fits perfectly. He can't really think for himself, right? Right? But yep. like the coaches see that his, his potential, and so they persuaded him <laughs> to do it, and he's just doing it because they told him to do it. Yeah, sucrose, yeah. sucrose has to be smart, kids. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, that's an easy given. Yeah, she's another Ganyu for me. Definitely in between quiet and smart. But I would say she's smarter than she is quiet. Natalia uh, goes into popular kids. Oh, you think popular? Dude, hell yeah. I think bully. Oh, oh it's between <laughs> those two. Yeah, you're right. I, I don't think the others would want to hang out with him. Everyone in my chat is saying bully. Let's put him in bully then. We don't have enough in bully. All right, let's do it for now. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll probably switch quite a lot of these around towards the end chat just to uh to see if we might think we have any in the wrong places or not. We might bully. be perfect. Do you not see well, him as okay. bully? I see him more as like the playful, beautiful man, popular kid, right? Oh, that's the look. But uh, I can also see bully. Um, I could definitely see popular as well, for sure. Let's keep him in bully. I think that's more fun for the tier list. Do you think Tusa yeah. would be getting bullied and he would bully the bullies, which would also be bullying in turn? Yeah. Venti. My chat is saying either class clown or skipper. I think or band theater. nerd. Band nerd. Oh, I think he can go into a but lot of these. He definitely can. He could go in a class skipper. He could go in a smart. He could go into popular. He could go in a band nerds. He could go into theater, class clown, bully. He could go into all of it. I think band nerds. I think Band Nerd is because he sings a lot and plays the liar all the time as yes. well, right? For me, it was mostly between Band Nerd and Theater Kid. Yeah, I he's... agree. I have an interesting thought for Zheng Ling. I think Zheng Ling would be a popular kid because she would always bring banger food in to share with the class. Hmm. 
And everyone loves Opa Jangling. You remember being uh, in school and like, if anyone brought cookies and stuff, they were like the most liked person or like gum or anything? I went to an all boys high school, so that never really happened. Really? Why? I, d I did. Wait, Bo boys, a... boys just didn't care or cook? No, everyone was an ass and they... Sports. Booga booga. So I, I don't know. It's hard to like think. I'm going to be honest with you. I say athletic. I mean, I could say I athletic think... since she goes out and like gets all her own food and stuff. Yeah, I see her as like a soccer player. I don't know. Like that's how I see her. So I think she'd be like athletic, but I can also see popular. Let's see what chat says. Chat, what do you guys think for Shang Ling? Yeah, it's a bit of a mixture here. We'll put her in popular for now. But uh, all right, it's it's pretty 50 50 on this side. <laughs> Zhao, I'll let you take the reins on this one. <laughs> Me? Okay. Uh, bully, a million percent bully, and like not even like a oh Bro. you know he's uh, whatever. No, he's just an asshole to everyone. I feel like Zhao's the embodiment of the quiet emo kid. No, I mean hey, I I'll put him guess... in bully. I give this one to you. This is your pick. <laughs> I, he's definitely quiet, but it's also just like how Mona is also smart, right? And like you, she can go in between popular, smart, all of that. He definitely can go into bully or quiet or even class skipper in my opinion. But I think overall, like he's just so harsh to everyone. So I think he goes into bully. Hey, I'm gonna just say, aspect. dude, X go and get your ass for that. <laughs> I was gonna say Twitter. It's not even called Twitter anymore. Genshin Twitter community <laughs> is toxic and we all know it. <laughs> Call I mean, sorry, the X community. My chat, what do you guys think? It's gonna be up to you. Okay, my chat mm -hmm. mostly says quiet. So <laughs> let's go quiet, I guess. He's a quiet bully. How about that? I don't think I saw one bully in my chat. <laughs> I, I mean, what you guys don't think Zhao is mean? I don't think Zhao is that mean. I think it's just the En Zhao that makes him sound mean. <laughs> I also feel like he's he just hasn't had that much person to person interaction. So he's homeschooled. Yeah, I, I I'd say homeschooled if the, if that was a category. Yeah, I probably would. Should we add a homeschooled one? I kind of want to add one of those. Yeah, let's add it at the end. Okay, and, and then we, we like can move, move people around. around. Yes, let's do that. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. All right, Sing Show. Sing Show, I think would just go into bot club. He's uh, literally you know writing his own book. I still don't even know how to spell it correctly. Yes. X-I-N-Q-U-I. No. Jesus Christ. Why can't I fucking spell S-I-N-G? Yeah, I do. I don't even Thank think you. I need to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's very, very easy. Zhang Li. Wait, so many people saying smart and a couple of people saying bully. For Zhang Li, I think he'd be a popular kid. No? No. I don't think Zhang Li would be a popular kid. I think he would be quiet kid or... He never Osmanthus shuts the fuck wine. up. Osmanthus wine. Osmanthus wine. Oh, you want to change your party? Osmanthus wine. He doesn't True. shut his damn mouth. No, I'm kidding. In the story, he feels very quiet and wise and reserved. Yes. Um, I agree with that. Which is why I say quiet kid. I can also see him being a class skipper, though. Really? <laughs> yeah. Just like, I don't know. He gives me that vibe of just like... <laughs> I'm just gonna go do my own thing. I don't wanna be here, you know? 90% of my chat I just say is smart. Do you really think he's that smart? Take away the I God of Contracts title. Wise. Yeah, I, I think, but I think wise and smart are very different, right? Like, I'm Correct. academically speaking. Okay, he's smart and wise, but like, you know how smart people are like, they're smart, but like, they're not street smart. And like, yes. sometimes they just like do dumb that is, things. That is like, the why would you perfect do that? way to say it. Okay, let's put him in smart then. Rosaria. I say she's a theater kid slash art kid she's the goth girl that like carries a sketchbook around and like just like draws people and then just like doesn't say anything and then just shows it to you and it's like here i drew you and you're just like okay and then you're like yeah. <laughs> i don't know what the fuck and it's like mean to you yeah i was torn between bully or class skipper but i feel like she also just gives no shits and her upbringing was very rough I, I feel like she'd be a bully to be honest i could definitely see a lot of those for me right now it's between bully and theater kid. I kind of want to pull this one. So we have 10 volts for bully, 3 volts for theater, and 144 volts for skipper. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Let me look at what mine is. 72 votes for class skipper, 32 for bully, well for theater. We'll put her in skipper then. Eula. I am going to say theater kid because she likes to dance right, but she's also awkward. Like when she talks to other people, yep. she talks weird doesn't know how to like interact yan fei smart kid or book club right yeah it's between those two because she's a lawyer right she'd have to be smart smart but i feel like she fits I, into both categories this is tough i say book club let's go book because club, she's then. always like with books and like learning and surrounded by papers and stuff yeah this is a tough one i think and we'll talk about this one kazuha class skipper 
What, Skippa? Literally just wandering around, dude. That's that's his whole thing. I mean, thing. true. Like, yeah. I'm, hold on. Wander with the wind. Intellectual things cannot hold me back. I was torn between quiet kids and theater kids. I don't see theater at all. I can definitely see quiet kid. Well, he likes to do his little poems and stuff, right? I say he's either between quiet kid and class skipper. Yeah, let's just go skipper. Joy Mia, popular kid who's very outgoing and everybody likes them, right? Yeah. Why is class Wait, skipper? What is the other one? Uh, Next to Sai, I don't know. That's, that's been that... in here a couple of times. Let's say that's Tom. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that's there. I, I think Sai is a class skipper. By technicality, right? quiet kid, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Sayu. I think class Kepa, she falls asleep all the time. I think mm. she'd sleep in and just not end up going to school. Man, this tier list is becoming very bottom heavy. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think class yeah. Kepa makes the most sense because she, sure, she's quiet as well, but I just don't think she'd make she's it to ninja. school most of the time. I mean, again, she's a ninja though, right? So like, it makes sense to like skip class and be in the shadows True. and go do whatever you want or sleep in sure. the locker or something. Look at a few characters coming up. I have a feeling that it's not going to be bottom heavy for long. Raiden Shogun is next. Oh, she's top heavy for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what do you think she would go into? Bully. Yeah, I don't see her in anything else. A bully that means well. Okay, did. <laughs> Or are you talking about A or Raiden, like the puppet? I think, I think you kind of have to do both, right? So, but Maybe, I'd say Raiden. I'd say Raiden. Then Bully, for sure. I also think Kujo Sara would be a bully. Bro, I feel like Raiden and Kujo Sara would be bullies. And, and the, it's it's the same in game, right? They suck up to each other. Sara is, no, no, no. is a Raiden simp. So it's like they are the dynamic duo of bully, right? Yes. They're always together. They bully everyone. They like walk in sync down the hallway, but like Raiden is like, I guess the leader of that pack. Yeah, the, the ringleader. Yeah. Kokomi. Doesn't she like books a lot? She does like books a hell of a lot. She's also very smart and quiet. Yeah. I, I think book club though. I think book club definitely makes the most sense. I think book club, she talks about that a lot. Yeah, she does. She likes to read that stuff. So yeah, books. All right, does Aloy count? Even like, I don't know if she's in Genshin, but like. I think Aloy does count. <laughs> Bully. I think theater kid. If you've played Horizon, she's mean as fuck, dude. Yeah, but she's doing a damn good job of acting like she belongs here when she doesn't. <laughs> oh, a lot of people are saying athletic, and I actually agree with that. I think she's very athletic. I mean, she is. Are you going to do class skipper? Because no one uses her, and she's never around. I'm going to do athletic just because class skippers is already very full. And we can move him around Tra later. Oh, that's a good. I wish we had that transfer student. Mm, that would be that's good. That's actually a very good one, chat. Toma? I feel like he's a suck up, but where would he even go here? People say popular. I don't think Toma would be popular, chat. No, he'd be like a nerd in my opinion. I think he'd be a bit of a nerd. Not necessarily a unpopular nerd, but I don't think he'd be with the popular kids, right? I think he's a normie, dude. Yeah, I, 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 exactly. I think he's a very much a normie. I think he's the guy that doesn't do any extracurricular activities. <laughs> he doesn't fit in with any clicks. He's just there. Someone just said popular, but only with the girls. And I kind of see it. I guess we could put him in popular. I don't know where else I'd put him, to be honest. Out of everything we have, I think, like... I think that's the best one we can put him in. Oh, wait, do you think? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Some people in my chat are saying he goes with Ayaka because he's a suck up to Ayaka, right? And so he'll do whatever she's doing to stay close to her. And so maybe he would be in book club just to be close to Ayaka. We did do that for Kujo Sara, so I'm more than happy to do that for Toma. Ito is next. Bully. Really? Ito? Yeah. Not class clown? He's either, I think he's a mixture. I think he's a bully that is also a class clown you know what i'm saying i'm going from mainly story quest perspectives when we actually learn sure. about ito's past and stuff and i, I think he'd be the opposite because i think he understands what bullying is right from his past with the oni True. racial stuff i could see him as a jock too i could see okay, jock. chat let me ex let me explain why i say bully i say bully because when i think of him i think of the arataki ito gang right yes and like how they're trying to be better than everyone else so then like he'll <laughs> and like he doesn't have like a like a sensor right hey like, listen he'll probably say shit and do shit Shit that might hurt someone's feelings. He's not a bad guy, but like he would be a bully, not on purpose in a sense. But the more I think about it, I think he fits more into class clown because obviously Ito. See, there's a lot of people in my chat saying they're not bullies, they're not bullies. Listen, chat, they do only Kabuto tournaments against children just to beat them because it's all they can beat. I, I think they, it's, it's low key bullying. I, I think class clown fits better personally, but. Yeah, I, I can see I'm, why you think. I'm in agreement with that. Let's put him in class clown. Goro, low key. I want to put Goro where, where Ito goes, just because he wants to. He's like his lackey in a sense, because like, and I say that because like Goro always goes with Ito in a team, right? Pretty much in a team, uh, yes. 
but that's just like that perspective but like goro as the character i'm gonna be honest with you i really don't know because i feel like i've barely interacted with goro since he's like a general and stuff and he's active on the battlefield i think athletic kids and i think he'd be the school mascot mm. for like football games and stuff oh, he'd go out on the field that is actually perfect oh yeah. my god athletic but he's the, he's the school mascot yeah. he wears the furry suit and everything it doesn't even need to he already is <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that's actually good. Yeah. Shen, huh? Quiet? Shen, huh? Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent quiet kid. Yeah, there's there's no doubt about it. Yunjin's a theater kid, that's easy. Yeah, a million percent. That's the easiest one so far. <laughs> I was fighting with my chat on where <laughs> Yami Go goes, and I think I I know where I want to put her. Bully. Bully. And nice. she's she's in the trio with Sara and Raiden. I fully agree with the bully. I don't know about the trio. I was thinking something different. And you might okay. disagree with this. And a lot of chat might disagree with this as well. Her and Ayato, dude. In bully. I think they'd be the terrible duo. The Pokemon duo. Jesse and James. Because they you are think in the game. Yato goes to yep. bully? I think unintentionally, but yes, because he helps Yai out with so much stuff. I think he would. No, I but, hard hey, disagree with that. Chat's agreeing. <laughs> Some of my chat is also agreeing, but I also they're think, disagreeing. Yo, I didn't think you guys would agree. I was going to say popular. I think the bully rich kid. I think he could also be popular. Don't get me wrong. I think he definitely could be. I also feel like Yai could also be popular. Mean, though. though. Mean is it the only form of bullying, right? Like what you could you, you could always you could always then? look down on others and stuff. I don't know. I feel like as a as a kid, right? I mean, he was born into a rich family, like you said in the in the, in the start as well, right? I'd kind of seem similar to Tartag in a sense. I'm down for popular. I, I I think a mixture of the two. I just think him and him and Yai do right. so much together all the time right. especially the event stuff he's the popular like guy that's kind of like sort of mean you know but yeah. has a lackey and that lackey is toma and so then by technicality toma goes into popular kid but only because he's like ayato's lackey i agree that actually works perfectly i feel like this one's gonna be one of the hardest ones because i was thinking about this character before stream as well and i could not think of where the okay. hell i put her yalan why do i want to put her in bully i already have an image of her like in like street clothes right in like high school where she's got like the the fancy like clothes on she's like popular but like she's also like sort of a bitch to everyone you know <laughs> that's just that's what i that's how I see her, you know? I could definitely see her thinking she's like the, the hottest shit. I could see athletic as well. She's the hot Cheetos girl. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. You're right. Ardia, that she is the hot Cheetos girl where she does her makeup in class and she's eating hot Cheetos. Dude, that is Yolan. What would that even be, See, though? I, popular? Popular? I think I'd go in popular then, right? I think it would Dude, be. Dude, that is so spot on. Kuki Shinobu. <laughs> a lot of my chat is saying smart for Kuki Shinobu. I'm kind of torn between smart because she is incredibly clever. Or right. class skipper because she just cannot put up with Ito's bullshit anymore. I like to imagine they both be in the in the same classes and Ito just drove her to a point where she does not want to go to school no more. I think smart kid more than class skipper. I mean, the thing is, though, is that like <laughs> her and Ito are like good friends though and like she loves you though so like i don't think she would even be in a skipper because he's driving her away because like True. they're really good friends they just, he just annoys her but like she loves him so i don't i think smart kid is the best one to go with where does hazel go i think he would go into class skipper or smart kid because he's very like you know he's a detective right and so he's always trying to get to the bottom of things and stuff like that so maybe Maybe like smart kid, but he's like that annoying one that asks too many questions and like always just a butt in on every fucking like conversation. I could agree with that. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Definitely. I also feel like Tignori would go into smart kids. He would go into the smart kids, but like or, nerdy, like he's the nerd. Or athletic. I mean, is the forest watcher, right? Here's the thing. Technically, you can put everyone into athletic because they're all fucking athletic um, for what they have to do, right? But I think True. he goes more into smart kid for sure call it quiet yeah that's an easy one dory dory's gotta be a bully right yeah i feel like I she tries scamming every... everybody dude i see i don't really see that as a like bullying though like she's just mischievous you know but like out of everything here i guess bully is like the po oh popular she's the drug dealer I'm... she would <laughs> She would, honestly. She's the one you go to. Hey, kids, come get your forbidden knowledge. <laughs> you want some smack? 
again, this might be a UK US difference, but the drug dealer kids popular in your school because people fucking hated them in mine. In my school, they were technically popular because they would, you know, like obviously they had the shit, right? So you had to be nice to them to get that stuff. Oh yeah, so but barely anybody school... in my school wanted the stuff though. I think that was the difference. <laughs> True. It's just so like it one like tiny a... group of stoner kids. A lot of my people are saying um, bully or skipper. I don't think she'd miss out on an opportunity to try bully and scam. I think bully then. I think bully. I think she's relentless. Nilu has to just straight up be a theater kid, right? Yeah, I, I mean, her whole fucking story quest was about <laughs> theater kids. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to get into some difficult ones now. I, I feel like a lot of these ones are going to be extremely hard to place. Sign up. Okay, dude, I would put him in like nerd. He plays Magic the Gathering at the school uh, lunch table with his friends. In my head, I was I was already torn just between two. Torn between Class Clown and Bully because of the two different parts of his character, right? One part is the yeah. is the clown side and one part is the general Mahamatra side. But I feel like in a school mm. setting, the Class Clown would definitely come out more. He'd always have to like fit in like jokes and like stuff like that. But he's not a funny Class Clown. <laughs> he just tries to be yeah. a Class Clown. <laughs> He's like the yeah. Bennett, right? He's like a similar to Bennett. He, uh, yeah. Bennett doesn't try to be funny, but is and people laugh. Sino tries to be funny and people laugh out of pity. Candace next. I don't know why. I put her in popular. She's the second Cheeto girl. I was thinking athletic. I can see her as like a high jumper or something. Oh, you're right. She plays using volleyball. The, using Dude, the pole like on the high jump. Player. Yeah, or that. Yeah, or like she's a, so like a star soccer player because she is athletic. I could True. see that. I think popular also makes sense. I, I'm going to say athletic. I agree with that more. Nah, he does. Uh, oh. Why do I want to say like either like smart kid or quiet kid? I mean, she's the archon of wisdom, right? So like she's smart. I have a very out there one here. Did you ever have that one kid in school that was super fucking smart, but never revised for any tests, never came into the classes and just aced the tests on the day? They were just smart. Yeah. I think she'd be a class skipper. I think oh. she's that kid. I think she'd, she'd get bullied thinking of her character stories and stuff. Mm. I, I feel like she'd, I feel like she'd skip. I think for her, I think she fits more into just smart kids. Yeah, we can do that. We can put her in smart. I could see her in homeschooled as well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, for sure. Layla would be a class skipper. No, I think book club. book club. Yeah. Yeah. I think book club too. I think she would uh, accidentally skip a lot of classes though at the same time. She's either book club or smart kid because she. the reason why she's so tired is because she's always studying. Yeah. So like definitely not a skipper. She's a very hard worker. She's just fucking, she needs some sleep. She needs some melatonin. She, she needs some milk. But I think book club is a good place to put her. I think the next two go into the same category. Wanderer and Bully. Farazan. <laughs> Bully. They're fucking bullies. There's, I don't even, there's no explanation to that one. Yeah. They are Wanderer so is mean. definitely a bully, but Farazan, I'm kind of torn, definitely but I, I, do, I do think Bully as well, right? What are you torn between? Bully and smart. She's very smart. I mean, she is smart, but she's so smart, she thinks she's better than everyone else. Yes. And then she just bullies everyone and then, like, talks down to everyone. Yes. She, I think, more so a bully. She's smart, but a bully. I agree. Yow, yow. That's a tough one, I ain't gonna lie. My chat's saying popular. I don't see her as popular. I mean, because she's like so charismatic and like just like everyone loves her. So maybe that's why. That's what I that's what I'm thinking is the the angle. You can put her in popular. She's outgoing. Oh, where does that hate him go? He got it. I want to say right. I here's the thing though. He can either go into skip, quiet, book club, smart kit, or even bully. He goes into so many. I feel like quiet is actually really accurate for Al Hytham. All right, we'll put him in, sk in Skipper for now. He's that kid that you were talking about of like, they're so smart. Yeah. They just come in to do the tests and stuff. That's him. 100%. Next is Dea. I'd say athletic or popular. I say athletic. She's very strong, obviously. Um, yes. Always on the move. Yeah, I could see her being the bully defender, you know, the defender of bullies or against bullies. Yeah, the one that yeah, she steps like, in. She gives off jock vibes, so yes. like athletic, right? But I agree. like she's that jock that like fights the bullies. Yes, hundred percent. Uh, speaking of people getting bullied, Mika. <laughs> I want to say quiet kid. He's so <laughs> soft spoken. He can yeah. barely have a coherent se sentence go out because he's so shy. Yeah, for sure. Could also put him in book club for the for the maps and stuff, but I don't know. I I'd just say quiet. I I think he's the embodiment of quiet kid. He is the quiet kid, other than traveler. 
Yeah. He is the quiet kid in Genshin, in fact. Okay, we don't have a thing for this, but I would say Kave would go into Preppy. So I guess by default, popular. I agree with popular. I could see him as a theater kid. He's so fucking... Theater. Dude, he's so out there. Everything he says is so over the top. Oh, yeah, you're... Wait, hold on, hold on. You're, you're right, theater. Yeah, everything's uh, the end Aradia of the world says with him. He works on the sets. He does also do that, yeah. I, I, I think theater kid definitely matches his personality more than popular. Buys you. The one kid that always ends up in the nurse's office. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think he goes into smart or quiet. See, okay. There's a lot of people in chat saying he's smart. However, you've done his story quest, right? I think he's not as smart. I think he's he's literally a doctor. Yeah, but that's not because of knowledge that he has learned over time. It's because of knowledge that he was granted by something, right? He taught that knowledge to help somebody else. I think he's more kind than smart. What if he's a skipper because he's out at the doc, like he's always at the doctor or like hospital 24 seven. That's actually a good one. Cause I definitely had kids at my school that would do that shit. Karara? Karara go. I know where I put because it, She runs yeah. all over Tavat delivering packages. Yeah, she'd be the cross country runner. Okay, these three, I I mean, the first two theater, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, I think Linny and Lynette have to be theater kids. Yeah, Fremenet, I think. Fremeny, Fremen, Fremen, yeah. I, I have no idea how to pronounce it. Filet but, mignon. Um, Filet mignon. I don't know anything about them. I think, so. I think athletic. I think they'd be a diver, like school swim team. Because the only time we see them is under the water with that weird suit on. I'm going to say quiet. Okay, I'm down for that. Both make sense. I would have only said athletic because the diving suit and stuff. This is the tier list so far. Let's add the final row. Homeschool. Yeah. Who would we put in homeschool? I think Clear'd be homeschooled for sure. Nahida. Nahida. Razor. Um, yeah, Razor would definitely be homeschooled. Yeah. Instead of athletic kid, even though I do love the thought of Razor running the 100 meters on all fours. <laughs> Chi Chi would probably be homeschooled. She's literally dead. <laughs> I don't know why I want to put Yao Yao in homeschool. I don't know She's why. She's a child. Homeschool. It's fine. <laughs> homeschool. There we go. I could see Kale. Being, I could see Kale being homeschooled. Because for sure. of her illness. Yeah. And like needs to be like at home because of it. I could definitely see that. You think Alhaitha think, would be homeschooled? You know, homeschool, but then goes into school. Just to, his parents are forcing him to get social interaction, but he has, he has nothing to do with them. So it could go either way for him. Baiji would be homeschooled. Again, because of illness. I think this looks good. It is a fairly balanced tier list. This is this is clean. Yeah. That was pretty fun. This is a good tier list, man. I thought this was fun, dude. This is this is sick. It's very was enjoyable. A lot of fun. We gotta do more of these. You two are a good combo. We are the best combo. That is that is for sure. 100%. I mean, we're pretty good. You know what I'm saying? We're pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it was fun.